Okay, hello everyone. My name is Paul Richards and I'm with PTZ Optics and today I'm doing an exciting use case scenario on something called virtual classrooms. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a virtual classroom is, it's used a lot in education uh, as a kind of like an after hours help uh, video conference room. So you can have students come in and um, you know ask questions and basically join your video conference room and come in and ask for support and it's being used all across uh, the world for universities and colleges. Uh, and what I'm doing today is I'm actually showing off my beautiful little virtual set, which is my virtual classroom here. And I've actually got a, a lecture going on uh, in the background here with uh, an MIT professor. Um, so why would I do that? Well, there, there's a couple different things that you can do here. and, and um, so, so basically what we can do here, and I'm just going to talk about some of the features of, of why we might want to use this. One is uh, these can be used for after hours help and outreach programs. So let's say you've got a video conference uh, room and you want to kind of spice it up and make it uh, more interesting for your young, you know, um, your young students that, that, are, that are interested in this kind of stuff. You can take this virtual set and create what's called a virtual webcam from this and pull it up in Skype or GoToMeeting or WebEx or Zoom or Blackboard or whatever you're using for your virtual classroom. So your actual webcam video will look like you've got an extremely beautiful, uh, you know, well lit up, uh, uh, cla um, you know, virtual classroom. Now that being said, you would need a, a green screen to do that, um, which might be beneficial. You know, they sell really small green screens you can put behind your de your uh, chair, which is what I have now. And now your students aren't seeing all the different things behind you, you know, your maybe potentially messy office. So it's, it's a nice thing and it's very affordable to put a little green screen up and a camera. Um, the next thing we have is a learning management system. So again, these videos can be taken and recorded and uh, have really professional looking videos and then put them on Blackboard and Moodle or Kaltura. So you might want to do a quick uh, update on uh, what's been happening in the classroom because uh, different people have, um, have missed out on certain things. So, so it can be used that way. And then finally, um, these can be used for professional recordings. So it's kind of, kind of like, the, like the above here, but you might want to have you know, your lesson plans professionally recorded um, and made uh, with a green screen background and you sit down and you make your presentation and have it really interactive uh, with your media actually shown in a television like we have here um, in fact, I might just want to uh, zoom this in here so it, uh, well, maybe I won't do that right now. Um, but you could, you could perfectly fit that in if you needed to. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. And I'm going to show a couple different things here. Um, so th th these, we can kind of basically zoom around and do different things. I can also annotate on top of, I have my iPad here. And a lot, I know a lot of teachers use iPads. So what I might want to do here is, uh, you know, pause this um, and say, okay, this is an important part of uh, my life, of my, um, of the presentation. So what we're going to do is we're going to move in here and uh, mention the fact that skills is an important part of what we're doing. And uh, we can actually annotate directly on the live uh, video. Of course, that's actually in a part of my screen here. So um, it's a really interactive way to very easily, this is not difficult, basically I have my iPad here, which is streaming my video to my laptop, which my laptop has my, my uh, live streaming software. It's called vMix. Also Wirecast for Macs is a really great one. And uh, you can take this and very easily uh, use all the things we talked about for your virtual classroom. So let's take a look at, let's just do one more example here. Um, let's let, let the teacher kind of do his writing. And boom, pause it there. And just let people know, you know, we're, we need to understand code and computational thinking for this uh, class that we're talking about. And, you know, I can use a highlighter potentially. Um, I can use an arrow, you know, if I don't want to write on different things. And uh, it's just a really interactive way to do, um, you know, what we consider uh, virtual classroom uh, video conferencing style, um, you know, uh, presentations. So 
If you have any questions about this, feel free to let us know. You do need a green screen to use it. All of the virtual classrooms, uh, virtual sets are available uh, for free with every PTZ Optics camera. If you don't have a PTZ Optics camera, they're also available for purchase. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, let us know at ptzoptics.com.